With more than 16,000 COVID-19 cases alone, San Antonio's District 4 on the south side has become one of the city's hardest hit areas. District leaders say the area has a large percentage of people without health insurance. And on top of that, among its residents, another vulnerable group, military veterans over the age of 65. The night team's Jonathan Cotto with how the VA is rolling out the vaccines on the south side. I called in, I agreed to take it, and I'm here. Military veteran and Southside resident Roberto Gonzalez lined up and ready to receive his first dose of the Moderna vaccine. It's something he's encouraging others to do as well. There's a way that we can fight it by taking the vaccine, take it. With all my heart, I'm telling you the way it is. Saturday's event taking place at Texas A&M San Antonio, which has teamed up with the Department of Veteran Affairs to prioritize those who have done the most for the country. They are in this population that could possibly see uh, more difficult, if you will, side effects of COVID-19. On the south side, Richard Delgado, executive director of military operations, says 460 veterans got their first dose. We were expecting... Um, the amount of veterans that we got. So all the veterans that had appointments for today were, were served. Um, and then we did some additional veterans that uh, with walk-ups. He says unused vials are few, but the ones remaining are going to be used at another VA site on Sunday. The VA was very cautious uh, to, to not um, leave any waste. So we wanted to ensure that all the vaccines were being used. Rocha Garcia says veterans were happy to be around veterans, adding the event served a double purpose. Sometimes I feel like I'm treated too good, but I am so blessed to be treated the way I'm treated. Excellent. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. The veterans vaccinated at Texas A&M San Antonio today were all given their first dose, and they're now scheduled to return for their second dose on March 27th. Eligible veterans who want to get the vaccine are encouraged to visit the VA's website for registration and updates. Those enrolled with the VA healthcare system may receive an invite by phone, email, or text message.